ROM hacks are games that have taken pre-existing titles and given it a new spin. Hello, and welcome to Gaming Thoughts. My name is Sean O'Donnell, and today I will be covering a ROM hack for Mega Man known as Mega Man and Limbo. This is a brand new ROM hack that has recently been released, and I will be giving you my thoughts on it. So the question is, as with any of these, is it fun? Is it worth your time to play? Well, let's find out. This is Mega Man in Limbo. And the first thing you might notice right off the bat is the absolute lack of music. This is a creative decision made by the developer of this hack, Timaeus, to try and, I'm guessing, add a sense of ominous atmosphere to it. Personally speaking, I found the lack of music distracting, and I honestly would have preferred something more gothic, ominous, something that would have reflected the overall look and feel of the game. Another thing you might notice is the graphical stylings chosen for this game tend to be dark. And to me, that actually works really well for the theme of this particular hack. The problem is, is that there are times where you can't see enemy placement because it is so dark. Now there are times it's not that bad, but at some of the boss fights, especially later on, you, are, you can't see what it is you're fighting. One of the things I liked about this hack was the stage layouts. They're easy to navigate through. A little bit of challenge in the platform. Enemy placements aren't set to be cheap. And you can tell that there was thought put into making this a fun and accessible. Something else I really liked about this is the overall of the game. This game, you can tell, is meant to be dark and depressing and just kind of almost hellish in a way. And I really dug that setup. To me, it came together pretty nicely. It's different. It's, it kept me wanting to play through just to see where things would lead. So that is Mega Man in Limbo. And my overall thoughts on the game is that it is definitely an interesting hack. I really like the atmosphere of the game. I think it makes for an interesting experience. However, the absolute lack of music really hurts it for me. You don't realize how plain a game can be when there's no music. And yes, there are those that might mute music or the sound of a game and listen to their own while playing, and that's fine. But one of the things Mega Man is known for is its music. And to take that 
out of it really detracts from the overall experience. The other thing that detracts from the game is that it's just too dark. And I get what the game's going for in terms of theme. And in that sense, it works on the atmospheric aspect. But there are times where you simply cannot see the enemies on screen. Or you have a hard time seeing it. And to me, that does not make for a fun experience. I also don't like that the power-ups were nerfed. And so it just, to me, it doesn't come across well. So is this hack worth playing? Yes and no. It's definitely more accessible than a lot of other hacks out there. And you certainly can play through it and beat it without too much trouble. Especially if you've played through Mega Man time and time and time again. This is not a Kaizo hack by any means. But some of the design choices I felt were questionable. So that said, it's a decent enough hack. It's not broken. It's not impossible to get through. It's just got some weird design choices that I didn't quite dig, but that's just me personally. Regardless, I will have the link for where you can find this hack in the description below. So, thank you for watching Gaming Thoughts. My name is Sean O'Donnell. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.